Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and this video will actually go up on Saturday morning. Sorry about that. Couldn't get it done on Friday night, but these are the freebies, Friday freebies for you, and it's all about spring flowers because I am so ready for spring. <laughs> I can just shout when it's pretty outside, and today it's very pretty. It's uh, about 63, I think, out there, something like that but very, very nice. Now, I'm going to use some of these flowers, and I'm going to make some little pockets and tucks and different things with them for some of the journals that I'm working on. I have these vintage um, index cards. These are the big ones. They're, let me see what size they are. They are eight by five so five by eight is the size on these they're the big 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 ones if you don't have index cards just use your paper or whatever you've got i've got a ton of these so i thought i might as well use them up and they make really quick and easy pockets and i'm all about quick and easy when i've got a lot to do i didn't realize how many journals i do need to get finished i've got quite a few of them okay i'm gonna score it but no, I'm not going to score it four. Where am I going to score? Let me think about this a minute. Uh, so we are going to score at one half inch. And then you're going to score at four and one quarter. Okay. One half, four and a quarter. Then you're going to flip it to the long side and you're going to score at four and a half. This is just going to get all of our folds. And if you want to just fold it by hand, that's fine. I am not so good at folding my hand. Now I'm going to put my lines on the inside because I really don't need to use those. But you could always just put them on the outside if you want. Now this is a little bit tight right here. So what I'm going to do is just trim a tiny bit of that off. I could have told you to score at 4 and 3 sixteenths or something like that, but no. I'll just trim a tiny bit of that off, just about a sixteenth, and then it will fold with no problem. I'd rather trim off as try to figure out the sixteenths. Now we want the this flap at the bottom to fold to the back side. We want this flap to just fold in where this will fold over just like that, okay? So, what we're going to cut off is this part right here. This flap is going to fold to the back. So, let's go right here. And I'm just going to cut this part at an angle and then right straight across. And then an angle again. A little bit of an angle and a little bit of an angle. Now, I know you can do this with whatever paper you want. You don't have to use index cards. You don't have to make them like this. You say, well, I can just make a pocket without going through all that trouble. Yes, you can. I just wanted to use my index cards up because I have a ton of them. And every time I see them anywhere, I buy more. So <laughs> I need to use them up. Now, this is going to fold around just like that. So there is our pocket. Okay, now if this is a little bit tight when it folds around, just adjust it. You can just adjust how you need to. I just like to get my sides pretty well even. That way nothing shows to the front. Like that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and glue these pieces together. This is just going to make a pocket, and then you could also make another pocket behind if you wanted to. And by using plain index cards, then you can decorate this up any way that you want. Okay, so there's our little pocket. Quick and easy. All you got to do now is do a little decorating. Now, you could also angle these and make it look like a little tag pocket. I'm just going to leave mine like this and put a little pull in there. You can just do it many, many different ways. You just do it to fit your needs. Fix it like you want it. Now I'm going to ink around it with my scorch timber. 
and I'm just putting my tool right into it like this, not up this way, because I don't really want ink to come up here. So just go straight into the edge, and that will just finish off the edge for you a little bit. I'm not going to worry about the back because I'm going to glue this pocket down. If you're not going to glue it down, if you just want to clip it on, then you could go ahead and decorate the back as well. Now I want a little stamping in the background just because I want I don't want a plain solid background. And I'm just going to start off with one of my favorite stamps. And I'm going to use some vintage photo on this one. This has just got some writing on it. I don't know what it says. I don't know if anybody can read it. I can't. I'll just put it in some different areas. There we go. Then I'm going to use my little splatter stamp. And I have linked this stamp below many, many, many of my videos. So you can go check that those videos out if you want. I'll try to remember to link it again, but no guarantees. There we go. Now we shall embellish. So what I did is pulled out my, this is from Tim Holtz and it's called Palette. This is the Palette Ephemera Pack. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. It's got so many pretties in it. Let's see, what flower do I wanna put on first? And that will tell me, I think I'm gonna put this one on. Ooh, I like that. Okay, so let's use that purple piece. And we can use a piece going across if we want. My head is stopped up this morning, so if I'm yelling or anything like that, I apologize. But my ears are all stopped up. I went out, I got out yesterday and piddled a little bit, and I something's probably blooming somewhere <laughs> because it it's got my head a little bit stuffy. I think I'll put that on there too. Yeah, this has got tons of good pieces in it. I don't know how many exactly it doesn't say. Yeah, it does. 136 pieces, so that's good. Uh, and I'm flipping them out everywhere. Let's see, I might want that one up top. Save that one for later. And if uh, Randy, R-A-N-D-I-R-O-K-K-E, -K -K -E, Randy Roke, if you're watching, I have your journal in the winter woods complete i have sent you an email with the link a while ago uh, please if you still want the journal go ahead and pay for it but if you don't want it that's fine just let me know and i can put it up for sale to someone else but it's been finished for a while i just um i sent you a an email and i haven't heard from you i don't know if you're you know if you hadn't caught the email it may be in your junk folder but R-A-N-D-I-R-O-K-K-E -K -K is the person who ordered it. Like I said, if you don't want it, and just you can just shoot me a little email and say I changed my mind and I will put it up for sale on the site. It's not a problem. Not a problem at all. I've just got so many around. Ooh, look at me. Make a mess right in the beginning. I've just got so many laying around that I need to get them out. And so that's one of them that's already packaged up and ready to go. I'm just going to slide this up under there. Just about like that. And wipe our glue up where we made a mess. And then this one, I just want it to go maybe right there, just behind the top of the flower. You could cover this with some book page, or you could put pieces of book page on. You could collage it. Lots of different things. This just makes some really strong and sturdy pockets. I've used some of these before to make pockets, and I really, really liked them. Oh, I didn't get that straight, but it's too late now. 
Too late to turn back now. Yeah, I like that one on there. So you can go over and download our freebie if you are a subscriber to our YouTube channel. They are on our blog website. So if you go to our website, you can hit the little link that says, it's a little page that says blog. And you can go over and download the freebies. You don't have to put in an email address. You don't have to recognize yourself at all. But we do ask that you be a subscriber to our YouTube channel. That's all that we ask. Okay, that I like that. And see, that's very simple, but yet I think it'll look pretty with a big tag in here. Let's see, do I have a tag made? Uh, I'm sure I got one made, but not one this size probably. Let's just pretend. Let's pretend. Let's pretend that this is a tag. This actually comes out of that collection that I was just showing you. See how pretty that would be? Have a tag in there. I love that. So these are going to be quick and easy. And like I said, if you don't have old index cards like this, just use scrap paper. Just use scrap paper. And if you don't want to use a scoreboard, then fold them like this. I just fold it over, leaving about half an inch there. I'm just not too good at folding like this on this end. You watch, I'll probably get it crooked. Well, not so bad, Edith. And then I like to fold up a little bit at the bottom. So you don't have to use a scoreboard. You can fold like this if you want. All right, then we are going to cut this part off again because we don't need that. Straight across and then I like to cut these at a little bit of an angle that way they don't show on the front side like that So this little piece will fold around this will be the back this will be the front and then this one Will fold I fold mine in you could fold it or cut it the other way and fold it around to the back but I just fold this little piece in and glue that down like that to me that makes a more I, I guess closed up side and you don't see any pieces that are folded around but it's up to you you can do it either way so I'm going to go ahead and glue this down then we'll decorate this one and we may decorate it a little bit different And then fold that around and just give it a good burnish to make sure that all the sides are folded well. And there's another one. See how quick they are? So if you've got some scrap paper, just cut it about this size and then just start, start putting it together. And see, you could put something like this on the whole thing. You wouldn't even have to put any of the flowers. I just wanted to use some of the flowers that we had for a freebie because you guys tend to like to watch me use the freebies so give you ideas of how to what to make with it and that kind of thing Ooh, I like that maybe that is a piece out of that same ephemera it's called palette and I will link it below we have quite a bit of it right now I think now I tell you on this one I think let me think what am I gonna put I'm gonna put another piece of this I may use some of the big labels that I have here Okay, I just pulled out a few labels that I'm going to try. I think I'll use that, but I'm going to cut it off because I don't want to waste that other half that's sticking under there. So we'll just cut that part off. And I do believe I want to put a little stamp up here, maybe. These stamps are also in that same collection. I have no idea who this this is let's see it looks like Canada maybe 
can barely see it. So I think that's the way we'll do that one. And then maybe put the flower over here. So I'm going to do a little stamping in the background. Now I'm going to use a stamp from this uh, Signatures from the Past. I have got uh, quite a few of those on order. They should be here the first of the week. So you guys, I know there was a lot of you that said you wanted one or some of them. Let's see, I think I'm just gonna use my vintage photo on this. Let's see. I just I don't want it really dark. Up here, let's see, that's where the stamp's gonna go. So we're gonna put it on this side. Just gonna stamp telegram. Hopefully I got that somewhat straight. Well, I didn't. Look how crooked that is. It's all right, I'm not gonna worry about it. Once we get everything else on there, it'll be good. We'll put a few little splashes on. Love my splashes. And then just a few words here and there. And I don't mind if they go sideways. That's good with me. Okay, since we got that so far off, I am going to try to disguise it. See what we can do. I hope all of you received your uh, newsletter yesterday. Sent those out with some information on them. And we have a very special newsletter coming up at the 1st of March with... A uh, new company. We have started a new company. So, <laughs> you're, I know, so you didn't, you need more to do? No, I don't. But supposedly my kids are going to be doing this new company. But it will be items that we can sell on here. You, I think you'll be pleased, very pleased. I should have put this down before I glued that, but guess what? I was thinking about the newsletter. I have been working on it for, oh, close to a month now. So I think you're gonna like it. I'm excited anyway. Now I think I'm gonna put that little, well, let's see, where will our flower hit? Okay, we can put our flower like that and that'll disguise that, so that's good. Let's go ahead and put the stamp down. These are just simple, easy things that you can do, but they look really good in your journals. This is not any brain surgery here. This is easy peasy. We may even make some tags to go in these. So anyway, watch for your March newsletter because we're also going to have a giveaway for the first five people who make a purchase from the new company. Ha! Ah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> but I'll give you more information on that coming up. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, I did put the brown around these so that when you cut them out, if you miss a little bit, then you don't have to worry about it inking because I know a lot of people don't ink it's they're just easier to cut out and then I made sure that the light tan was on in here because there's no way I'm going to spend time and cut those little pieces out and I know you don't have it any time either so it just makes it a little bit easier makes it a little easier to cut out or at least it does for me I maybe it will for you that's a little bit off right there so I'm just going to cut it Now, I know some people like to get their embellishments like that and put them in their Cricut or scan, Brother Scan and Cut, something. If you have one of those and you would rather not have the outline around them, let me know. And I'll try my best to take the outline off for you. I can't guarantee that I'll have time, but I'll, I'll try. I've still got to redo the little postcards. Uh, the little airmail cards for you guys because a lot of you ask for them to be in a larger size. So I'll try to get that done tonight and maybe get that posted up tomorrow. 
So believe me, I'm working on what you're asking for. It just takes me a little bit. <laughs> it just takes me a while. If anybody knows where I can get more of this washi, it's just a almost a clear washi and it has writing on it. I don't know what writing, but let me know if you know where I can get more of that. I'm almost out and I'm going to cry when I'm out because I love to put it on the pieces like that. And see, that's another very, very simple. Now, I think that's all of the flowers I have cut out, but I'm going to cut this one out, and we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to give a little twist to it. So let me cut this one out, and I'll be right back. Well, I did a little bit more fussy cutting than I was intended to, but I got on a roll, and I just kept cutting. Now, this is just one of those pieces of envelope that I told you the other day to save, and I have just cut it down. This I cut down to, and you can make yours any size. I'm just going to tell you my measurements because if I don't, somebody will ask. This is cut down to three and a half by five and a half. And then I just found a little scrap piece of, uh, this is scrapbook paper. And I'm going to make a tag out of this to go in here. But first, I want to cover this because I, when I pull that tag out, I don't necessarily want to see that. So I'm going to cover the inside of that with some pretty paper. And we could just put some of this paper in there. That would be fine, I think. Let's do that. Just want to cover it so that you don't see that background when you pull the tag out. You don't even have to have a piece the right size, just as long as it covers up that window. And I'm sure I'll have to trim this one off, and that's fine. I don't mind. Whoops. Don't tear up your window, Edith. And then I'm just cutting that off at the top. And then I will trim it off on the side. Okay. Now I know that my tag will fit down in there and I want my flower to be right in the middle like that. So I'm going to put it on here and just follow that little line that's on there. I think that will work perfect. Hopefully. All right, let's look. Hopefully I got it in the right place. Yes, it's in the right place. So I like that, but I want to put a little piece of washi and a little label right here so right about where that little stem pretend stem comes out right there and I may just put a piece of washi and not the label too I don't know I'm look I'll look and see so put a piece of washi across there Oh yes, I like that much better. I don't think I need a label, but up here I may just put a little number, just a number. Just give it a little bit more embellishing. Let's see, what color? Maybe just a green one. If I put it right there, I think that will work. And it doesn't have to show all the way. I just wanted another little item up there. That's good. I like that. No problem. Okay, so that's done. This is going to be the top of my tag 
like that. So we need to put some paper here and here. Now I'm not going to cover the back because I'm going to glue this down, but you can always cover the back if you want to. I'm just going to cover these sides. Oh, that's the right size right there. I just put that down, but I'm going to have to cut it even because it's really crooked. Yeah, let's put that there. And the excess, I'm probably just going to wrap around. Make it easy as can be to cover these pockets. Or junk mail envelopes. I like easy. There we go. Look at that. I just glued everything down to my table. There we go, got that piece on, and then another piece over here. Hmm, I think first I'm gonna put a piece right there. And I'm gonna cut this because right now it is torn. I don't want that torn edge if I don't have to have it because none of my other papers are torn. They're all gonna be. There we go, put that like that. Just use up those scraps. And I'm just gonna wrap this around. It's just a little piece and I don't need it for anything. So just wrap it around to the back. All right, and we need a piece here and then one down here. So what if we put this piece here? Oh, that's a good size. I have a little bit of that little curve showing right there, but I'm just going to ink it, so it's going to be no problem. And I've only been working out here for a couple of hours, and I've already got two paper cuts. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> I keep paper cuts all the time. Now I'm going to go up over that piece because... This end didn't have any writing at all on it, so we're going to do it that way. And this piece I'll trim off, most of it. I can use that somewhere else. And then we'll fold, then we'll fold around the excess. And now we just need a little piece right here. And I want a darkish, kind of a dark brown piece, I think. What about a little piece of this? Yeah, that'll work. I'm gonna just cut off a little piece. And we'll put that right there. Try to get it straight if we can. There we go. Now, I didn't tear this. I should have torn that because I don't like that sharp edge right there. So I'm just going to put something over it, like a little tiny label or something. There we go. We'll put that number right there. Oops. There I go flipping all those out again. There. Now that takes care of that little edge there. And then, let's see, that's not glued down. So then I want to put another something up here. 
maybe a little label all the way across just a little skinny one let's see I'm gonna put that little label right there and that's gonna cover up those little areas there yeah that's what we'll do always a way to cover it up so put it like that put it a little more to one side than the other and there is our little pocket with a tag and then when you pull the tag out you've got a colored background and then we can make this into a tag shape and embellish a little bit more if we want just going to cut a little bit and let's give it some ink and then we'll decide if we want to put anything else on it you don't have to put anything else on it sometimes i like to put some embellishments up here just to give it a little bit more color I think I'm just going to put that little circle. It says special. Yeah, I like that. And I'll punch a hole in it and probably put some ribbon or something in there. Now, do we want anything else on here? I think I do. I think I'm going to put a piece of this washi. This is the clear washi that has the butterfly and letters. like an acetate washi let's see I'm gonna put half of it here and then I'll just save the other half because I don't want the whole thing on there so there is that one I love that okay we'll do one more I have just had a coffin fit so I'm gonna do one more and then I'm gonna have to go get something to drink <laughs> this is that piece that we cut off on the last I think it was on the last video and I said save them because we're gonna do something with them and I glue that down and then I'm gonna cut off oh uh, let's see I'm gonna make it three and a half oh Edith let it slip there we go That didn't want to cut, did it? All right, we need to put something on the inside of it first. Got a little piece right here that's torn up. I'm just gonna glue it back down. So what do we want to put on the inside? I think I have literally took a cold just from walking outside a little bit. Well, that's my allergies. It's not a cold, but ugh. I think I'll put, is that gonna be big enough? Yeah, I think I'll put that in there. Just a little scrap that I have laying on my desk. And I'm going to put uh, glue stick on the back. Because if I don't, I won't be able to maneuver it. If you put our glitter glue on there, there is no moving. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. That will work right there. Oh. Now that'll be pretty when we pull our tag out. That's going to look good. Now, do we have anything else we want to make a tag out of? I think we'll do, let's see, will we do this flower in there? Let's see if it'll fit. Oh yeah, I like that. Let's do this flower inside. So let me find something to make a tag out of and we'll go ahead and make our tag i have a little scrap piece of paper here let's see that's upside down edith uh let's go ahead and cut this down to size if i use scrapbook paper i don't have to worry about having to back it with something so we'll just use this Make sure it goes in there well, even after we 
close the side up. I think it will. Now you could glue this side on the in, in there, but I'm going to tell you, if you glue it, you're going to lose some of your real estate. You're going to lose some of your width. That's why I like to fold that paper around. Okay, I think we're going to use that right there. I'm going to cut the top off right across there. Now let's decide where we need to glue our flower. I just put it back in there and then tuck my flower in and kind of look. That's why I like to leave this side open until I get everything glued down. Yeah, that'll work right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue right there <laughs> to hold that one on there. And I'll know that's how it needs to glue down. Now let's make sure, I'm pretty sure that's, yep, yeah, that's it right there. I love that. Now, you see this piece, it so, looks so much lighter now that we've got this dark background. So what I'm going to do is take my little brush, put a little ink on it, and I'm just going to go over that lightly, just to cover it a little bit. Make it a little bit darker, so that it doesn't stand out like a sore thumb. There we go. Now, let's go ahead and find paper to cover this. I've got this scrap. Oh, that's pretty on there. I think I'll put this down on this side. And I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece off or tear a piece off because I don't need all of that. Okay, let's glue that down right there. Now, I left this top and I didn't have to, so I'm just going to trim that off. And we'll fold this around and that will close up that side. Okay, then a couple more pieces. This could go down here at the bottom. Trim a little of this off because I don't need all of that. There we go, and now we need a piece here and here. Now I've got that little piece of scrap right there that is just the right size for the top. So I'm going to put that across there. Okay, I think this is about the right size. I want to put that there. Or we have another piece here. Or we can put this on there. Oh, I like this better. Now I'm going to tear a little bit at the top just so it's not a straight edge. And hopefully I didn't tear it too much. Nope. Just about right. I still have a little straight edge at the bottom, but I can't tear it off now because it would be too short. Okay, there we go. Go ahead and ink. Now, my piece of paper didn't come up high enough to cover this, so I'm going to cover that with a little scrap piece of paper, I think, just right at the top. I didn't even, I don't know why I didn't look at that, but I did not look to see if it come all the way up. I just don't want that blue to show. Trim it off a little bit more. Oh, 
I think that will work right there. I'm going to put my glue stick to this because I have to be able to move it. And you cannot move it with art glitter glue, that's for sure. Just bring your paper that you put on the inside all the way up. I didn't, this piece wasn't quite big enough to do that, but if you bring your paper all the way up to the top, you don't have to worry about piecing it there, which is not a big problem, but. There we go. Put a little ink on it again. And then we'll cut this into a little, oh, do I wanna? No, I'm gonna round the corners because I don't wanna lose any of that right there. Just gonna round them off. And I will cover the backs of these tags later when I start to put them in a journal. There we go. Cute. Now I wanna label here maybe and maybe right there. Okay, I think I'll put this one at the top. It's just a little piece of ledger page. It came out of that same packet of embellishments. Palette. This one here. Did I put that right side up? No, I didn't. I put it upside down. There we go. Now it's right side up. And I'm going to put this one down at the bottom. And I think that's it. Now, I don't think I'll come back and add any more to this tag because I love all of the little embellishments and titles and things on there. But that is just another one. You could also put another flower out here if you, if you wanted to. If you think that you need more flowers on there, you could put another one out here. And that'd be cute if that was a little smaller so just have fun with them uh, that little rose would look really good on the outside any of them that you want just have some fun all right guys i think that's it with the for the video today i hope you enjoyed i hope you'll give these a try i made this one beforehand and i kind of cut the top in a tag shape but i can still use them no problem all right, we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.